Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. And of course, uh, as usual, another video, another episode. And for today, we have a question by L Yen Ten, and it goes uh, like, "How could I make the specific time and day, like one day and three hours sort of stuff?" So basically, this is referring to my episode nine video, which is how to calculate or make a countdown in AppSheet. So, of course, this would require some uh, a bit of amend uh, or some changes to the original code, uh, as mentioned in my episode nine. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, guys. So now we have a sample data. We have the ID of the event. We have event name. So it can be either product launch, year end meeting or office party. And we have the target date time. So this is basically the day of the event itself. Okay. So let's just say this is the sample data. And creating an app in app sheet, we will bring in or export or uh, import the table, which is the transaction table as shown earlier. Now I have added a virtual column called countdown. And what it does is it will uh, calculate the days left uh, from the target date to today as compared to today. And the formula or expression that I use is as follows. So as you can see, to calculate the days itself, I am using floor and we have the standard uh, duration expression as shown in my previous videos so the reason why i am using floors is to round down to the nearest whole number so basically to ensure that the completed days are counted for and the remainder will be counted as part of the hours left Hence why I am using mod or MOD, which stands for modulo, which finds the remainder of the divided hours, and that will be detected as hour. And for minute, is similar to hours. The only difference is I'm using 60 instead of 24. So since we have 60 minutes, in an hour so it divides by 60 and if the dates are basically over or past then we'll use a condition where it displays that the event has passed all right so of course the the expression fundamentally behaves this way so let's head on and try out this app straight away. Now, as you can see, if I were to set this event to happen on Sunday, say for example, immediately you can see that there is one day's 33 hours and 59 minutes left before the event starts. And of course, this applies to any of other dates as well. You can try out yourself. And the condition that you want to try is if, say, the event has passed, let's say on the 30th of March, then the countdown will change from the minutes and an hour to event has passed. This is to indicate that it is over. All right. So... Give it a try and let me know what you guys think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't so that you'll find more contents like this. And of course, thank you very much for your support. It's been a while and I'll be I'll keep on doing more videos for you guys regarding app sheet and many other things as well. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm Aris Azahar. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.